Okay, so we're going to make the head. Okay, so ball, CMC inside the ball. I'm bringing it back to life. Okay, and it's kind of relative. So I'm actually going to just put this straight onto the model. We're going to do it like that for my beginners. Okay, because it's it's difficult for me to show you with it being rested on there. So I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it on. So a little bit of glue. Okay. A little bit of glue. Just hoping. <laughs> I could always do adjustments once it's on, shall I? Got to sit him on. Just making adjustments. Put his head slightly to the side. Just slightly to this side here. Okay. Um, right. Yeah. Okay, so I've placed on his head. <laughs> and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get a ball tool. I'm quite low down. I'm just going to push in. Where I would want some eye area. Just there. Just where I want the eye area. Okay. Not looking like much at the moment. <laughs> but uh, it will. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have to stipple this. Um, let me show you briefly and I will come back when it's all done. But again, a bunch of cocktail sticks, and we begin. Okay, and we begin, and we stippling, stippling in all the way around. And rather than bore you. <laughs> And it is a, a laborious process, but it's so effective once it's finished. I'll come back when the whole head is complete. Okay, so I've stippled around the head. And I've made two little eye holes. And with a little bit of black fondant, I'm going to um, give him some eyes. I've got a little bit of black residue on my fingers, so I'll wash them after he, after I've done this. So, roll a little ball, put that in, bit of glue, and place. Okay, and I'll repeat with a little bit and do the other eye, okay? And when we come back, we'll start the ears. Okay, so we're going to make the ears. So with a little bit of brown, I've rolled it into a ball. I'm just going to flatten it with my fingers. Okay, and sit that down. Hello. <laughs> and then with a little bit of that lighter shade that you used on the paw, just going to roll that into a ball. Sorry, roll that into a ball. And between my fingers, flatten that down. But a little bit thinner. You want that thinner. Okay, so flatten that down like so. And then with the smallest amount of glue, just sit that in there like that. Like so. And press down. Okay. Like that. Okay. Let's pick that up. Like so. Can you see? I'm going to nip the bottom like that, just nip it like that. And then where I want the ear to go, put a little bit of glue and just place it on. And off camera, like we've done before, I'm just going to stipple. Before I do though, I'm just going to use a ball tool. I'll try with this one. 
and uh, just going to push that down like that. And I'll stipple that off camera and I'll come back when both ears are on. Okay, so with a lighter shade, I've just made a ball and I've flattened it down into an oval. And um, just flattening it, flattening it, kind of made it like a lemon shape for now. And I'm going to get it on the face, so Woo! put some glue. Made it a little bit more than normal because of the texture. You know, just because of the texture more than anything. All right. And then let's get ooh, let's get this on. Okay, can you see? I just flattening that off but moulding it also up the face and flattening that side can you see I think so just rounding it off can you see there and then with the scribing tool I'm just going to with my eye, just make a mark going up towards the nose, like so. Can you see? And then a mark there, and a mark there. I'm going to slightly go up, not too much. I'm not going to make too much fuss. I'm not going to make too much fuss on the mouth because I don't think stife bears have a lot of fuss. Okay, I can always use the other end. Just go in either steady hand. That's that. And then with some black fondant. Black fondant. Okay. I'm going to make a nose, so roll it into a ball. I size it first. Yeah, that could be it. I think that's a nice size. And then I do the same. I kind of make a lemon, a lemon shape. But with a flat top, so I'm pinching like so. Can you see? And I'll just make a little bit of glue there and pop on his nose. We can always make adjustments once it's on, like so. Always make adjustments. No, I'm not happy with that. <laughs> This is live. I start again. See, I think I need the nose just to be a slightly smaller. It's not doing what I wanted it to do, so took a little bit of that fondant off. <laughs> See, this is live. Told you, I don't do retakes. Nip again, flatten, not too much, and then point. I want that into a point at the bottom yeah oh yeah that's more like it can you see put a bit more glue on again but I oh. come to Papa come on now play nicely now And there you have the teddy bear's nose on. And when you come back, I'm going to do some finishing detail. I mean, you could leave the teddy bear like this. Um, it, you, you didn't have to keep doing it. But I'm going to put a big bow on. So I want to make it kind of like stiff Christmas. I've got a big red bow. It could be for Christmas. If you want to do it blue, it could be for a boy. If you want to do it pink, it could be for a girl. And I'll put a little stiff tag in there. So I 
If you want to see what else I do, keep on watching. My little Stife Bear is coming along great, isn't he? <laughs> I'll put the little tag in his ear, but you can do the same, you know, or you can make this generic. It's, it can just be a normal cuddly teddy bear. So we're going to make the bow and we're going to start anyway. So I've put some CMC into a little bit of red. You can make the bony colour you want. This is red because I thought this is really Christmassy actually. Stife bear at Christmas. Sat on your Christmas cake. I think that's pretty wonderful, don't you? And ah, so I've rolled a strip. We're going to make the tails here. Just the tails. I want it relatively thin, all right? I want it relatively thin. So with a knife, just cut off your edges. Mm, I think that's enough. Yeah. And then cut off the other edge. Make it nice and straight for a start. That always helps. And then I'm going to cut that roundabout in half. doesn't have to be exact. Nothing is exact. Not when I'm doing it. <laughs> oh, I feel so Christmassy today. I don't know why. I feel in the mood for Christmas songs. So, so I'm just going to make a V. A V shape. To represent the tails of the bow. And I'm going to do the same on the other. And that's picking up. How pretty. Straightforward, isn't it? And I always just put into a point at the other side just to make it easier. You don't have to, but I do. I just like to make it thinner at the ends where it goes into the... And what I'm going to do, you can add some detail now. So just some creases here. Just some indentations to... Give the illusion of creases and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to nip that nip that like that create some movement on the bow see just to create some movement and likewise do the same to the other bow just put some creases in or some markings um it's really close up You'd have to be really close up to see it, but I just think it adds another dimension. And again, nip, and then you can add some movement to your bow. Like that. I hope that's picking up. So we're going to put the ears, sorry, the tails on. So put the glue on here first. Because it's going to be quite difficult to stick. And I'm going to actually put a little bit on there. Can you see? Just putting that there. I'm quite happy with that. And I'm just going to push that in. Push that in. Like that. And then I can adjust. Adjust. As I want. Like that. Can you see? And then the other one, the same process. Push that down there. Okay. Very gently push that in. When you've got it in place, press down. I kind of use a tool rather than my fingers. Okay. I'm just flattening that section down because you won't see that because the bow will be on it. So I'm just flattening them down like so because you'll only see the ends coming out. Okay, so there's his tails and when I come back we'll do the ears and we're nearly done. Okay, we're on the home straight really. Um, rolled out some red fondant again. Just cutting off the edges, making it straighter, you know, and then trying to find the center roughly, <laughs> roughly, 
doesn't have to be exact does not have to be exact i don't need as much as that i don't think do i really just need uh, maybe that much maybe cut that straight i know these are finicky details but they're important they are important so i turn it upside down i'll do one here and um i'm just going to bring in those edges just to soften them just to soften them okay it just softens the bow like that and then I put a little bit of glue on that side and on that side how you right there and bring it up and then we close together I'm trying to do this without looking at it and then pinch put a little bit too much glue on that just pinch like that and then repeat the process with the other ear so turn it upside down just pinch in the edges it just gives it a better edge when you turn it the right way around and then put a bit of glue on this side a little bit on that side maybe not as much as last time and then turn it on itself stick pinch that bottom bit and there you have it there's the two ears and I'll let them dry off a little and I'll come back when I put it together I'm going to come in now I've put one ear on as you can see I'm just going to put the other ear on a little bit of glue not too much I'm just going to be very gentle with him very gentle with him I don't want to hurt him He's definitely a boy to me. He's definitely a boy. How adorable. How adorable. Like so. Push that in. And I'm going to leave that for a couple of seconds. And when I come back, I'll put the little knot in the middle. Back in a bit. Okay, we're on the final hurdle now. I've got a little piece of red bundant. I've just flattened it out and I'm nipping it at the end so it's pointer at both ends like that. And then with a scribing tool, if it does pick up at all, I'm just going to put some indentations in. Just little scratch marks. Little scratch marks. And then with a little bit of glue. Not too much. Not too little. I might have to cut that down ever so slightly. I don't think it's needed so i'm just going to cut a little point at that end make it smaller that's basically it and then i'm going to push that in and then in like so and there you have it <laughs> and i mean what i could do I could add more detail. Um, I could paint a little bit of age into the bear. I mean, I might actually do that off camera. I, I, I really don't know. But this is for my beginners. And as you can see, he is absolutely adorable. Imagine him sat at the edge of your Christmas cake. I think he would look beautiful, magical. <laughs> Don't forget to hit subscribe and if you haven't already and please hit that like button and uh, Merry Christmas to you all. I'm really in the festive mood. Bye.